So there was the tractor and uh, there was a shed just to the left of where the tractor was and then I had two more sheds back there, 8x10 sheds. They were uh, built by tough sheds. And, uh, some teapots and just old mugs that we had saved and some pottery and, and that type of thing. So we're hoping later to maybe go through some of this and, and see what we can find. And uh, Steve mentioned that you were knitting a blanket. I crocheted a blanket for our great-grandson who's due on Tuesday. And it was sitting on the couch right about over there. So I guess I get to start over because I just finished the darn thing. <laughs> yes. what's, what's the one thing that you're maybe most concerned about that you lost? Baby books. Lost both my boys, mine and Steve's baby books. Oh, yeah, and all our photos. I mean, this is before the digital age. Sure. I was the family photographer, so I've got pictures from way back. You have film negative? Is that what you have? Yeah, yeah, from film. So I don't know what we're going to be able to replace from the family and whatever. But uh, I was able to save a couple things from my sister who just passed. I have a pair of her earrings. And um, my dad passed in December, so trying to find something that, that was his. And there's concerns about that. Yeah, we heard that there were already people going through our rubble. Yeah, last night. Jeez. I mean, when you lose everything, you try to take it in the best way you can, but to have people decide that they can just come in and steal your stuff, I mean, it's a sick world. Just don't let me catch them. Green. Green? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it would have been very. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You know, it was a family home. Can I ask you why you want to continue running for office? Well, I'll put it this way. I think that I will be a good supervisor. I'm not going to let this fire put me down. I'm going to be like the phoenix, raising out of the ashes, stronger than ever. This is no more than a little bump in the road, and uh, God put it there for a reason, and I will overcome it.